Yo, what's up guys, it's Barry here, and today I'm going to be counting down the top 5 biggest weapon changes to come to Fortnite. Now myself, I'm an OG player, I've been playing Fortnite before there was even season, before season 1, and I have experienced all of these either OP buffs or huge nerfs. So the way I will be listing them are basically the most impactful nerfs or buffs to come to this particular weapon and how it impacted the game. So starting off at number 5, we have the RPG. The RPG was always a nice weapon, alright, it was great to use, you always wanted it, and the percentage of rate of drop was so low, and if you had one, you pretty much saw you had the game. But in October of 2017, it got a little bit of a buff. There's a small period of time to where the splash damage was so unbelievably high on the RPG that you would always cause self injuries to you or your teammates. I think a lot of players remember this because the RPG was such a fun weapon to use but no one wanted to use it because more than likely you're going to do damage to yourself. As we do know this was changed as we did on now and the RPG is just fine. Coming at number 4 we have the scope AR. When the scope AR was first introduced it was really bad. It was a poor weapon, no one used it and the accuracy was what really killed it. I think we all know that scope AR has never been one of the primary weapons, but it definitely received the buff in this way. In the 2.5 update, also known as the Valentine's update, they fixed the accuracy a lot, and they even changed the dot marker on the gun. As they did this and made the weapon better, they sadly did decrease the headshot damage from 250% to 200 still making it a solid weapon of choice of today. At number 3 we have the SMGs. This is closer to our time, I think we all know, we all know how overpowered the SMGs are and how impactful they were to the game for a solid week. In the beginning of the SMGs and as they were all added, they were really OP. They did too much damage, they sprayed they had too much accuracy, they had too much range, and they were the definition of an overpowered weapon. So, Epic Games hopped onto this and they nerfed it, resulting in all fire rates being decreased. 35% of accuracy decreased down to 15%. Range was reduced by roughly 300 on their scale and 400 plus on the rate. The rate was reduced from 15 to 10 percent approximately that is that is a huge nerf right there and if these were still in the game that would it, it, the game would be broken the game would be broken coming in at number two we have the guided missile this was in the 1.5 update the most recent update and the guided missile was previously taken out the game for just basically being too op and it was just so unfair and just so annoying to use and months later they decided to bring it back but with a huge nerf. The duration was decreased from 18 seconds to 15 seconds. The speed was decreased. The player damage was reduced from 105 max to 77 max. Reduced the structure damage from a whopping 1100 to 400. That is a huge decrease. Huge decrease. And the reload time was increased by 0.3 seconds, so I guess you have that. But like I said, I want to be talking about the impacts that these weapons had. Imagine if this guided missile never got nerfed, or it just never came back. It would be crazy. Those guns are really overpowered. They weren't fun to use or use against your enemies because it was just no fun. They had always had an advantage. You can camp in a one by one and you can just spray people with the guided missile and it was so hard to dodge against. So I'm really glad that they fixed this one because if they didn't, <laughs> Fortnite would be a lot different, let's just say that. Now we have our two honorable mention pick. Coming in at the 2.4 update, we have the crossbow. Basically the crossbow was a weapon wasn't really too good, it didn't really have that much of an impact, but when it first came out, it was a lot better. It had a slight nerf in accuracy and a slight nerf in damage, and then it was just ultimately removed from the game. In our second pick, we have an older nerf. This was the Scar nerf, and basically, Scars could do over 100 damage in headshots. That is insane. It was in the game for such a long time, and no one even noticed. Just doing 98 damage for a headshot with a Scar. 
they did fix this because that's that's just a little bit too crazy. Now for our honorable mentions out of the way, we have the number one spot for the most impactful weapon nerf. This goes to the shotguns. I think we all know how big of an impact the shotguns had on Fortnite and how they were just so dominant in, in any gunfight, anything. They were just so overpowered and if you knew how to use them, you could literally beast out. All you needed was some good accuracy and you're getting dubs. Epic Games repeatedly have just tried to nerf shotguns and have tried to do everything they can to just balance them out with still making them a realistic weapon to use because shotguns of course do a lot of damage. But it's just been such a problem in battle royale genres for such a long time and Epic Games put a stop to it. In the Season 5 update, shotguns received the biggest nerf that they ever had. Shotguns will indicate damage on hit was the first thing. It was just a little tool that was useful. Maximum damage was decreased. Environmental damage was the same as player damage. So basically what that means is you would do the same amount of damage to a player as you would to a structure. They removed. And I repeat, remove the double pumping, just decreasing of the reload time, which is just such a huge advantage that a player could have, and this was completely removed from the game. It was really game changing. And it also added the most annoying timer to shotguns between switching of weapons. That, it, it doesn't sound like a lot, but everyone knows that this was such it was so overused in Fortnite. Daquan created it, and he didn't know what he started when he made double pumping. It was just so good. It was so good, and it was in the game for such a long time. Five whole seasons. Even before that, if we count the weird time where there was no season, this was being used, this was being exploited, and it was just so good. It was just so good, and when I took this out of the game, I kid you not, the game changed forever. So yeah, that's my list of the biggest weapon changes to come to Fortnite. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I did take a while. I actually have a script that I'm reading right now of uh, writing all this stuff down. I did go through all the change slots, like I said. It took me a while to get all this information for this video because things I actually forgot, like the scope they are. Never knew about that. The RPG, who knew for like a week in October of 2017. RPGs were just overpowered. <laughs> so yeah, I really would appreciate if you guys did leave a like on this video. Like I said, it took a while and uh, it just shows your appreciation for the channel. If you do want to see more videos like this, just let me know. Just give me some ideas and I'll be sure to do them. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace.